Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac Principal Reductions. Looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, Certified Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, today let's talk about proposed legislation to force Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac into doing principal reductions. A bipartisan bill introduced in the House of Representatives recently would require regulators to craft principal reduction programs for government-backed mortgages. Uh, Reps Peters out of Michigan, Campbell out of California, and Ellison out of Minnesota sponsored the Preserving American Homeownership Act of 2012. Right now, more than 11 million borrowers or more owe more on their mortgage than what their home is worth. That's a huge number. This bill, if approved, would direct the Federal Finance Agency and the Department of Housing and Urban Development, that's FHFA and HUD, to develop a pilot program to allow write-downs on Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and FHA loans. Mortgage servicers would reduce enough principal to get the borrower down to a 115% loan-to-value ratio, which means if your house was worth $100,000, they would get the loan down to 115. If the homeowner stays current for the three years, the services can make the servicers can make additional reductions to a 95% loan to value, bringing the borrower back to positive equity. Now, the bill would require the borrower to share up to 50% of any appreciation with the government-backed agencies or FHA if the property is sold or refinanced. Key yeah, or refinanced. Now, now, net present value test would have to show that the eligible homeowner was, was in danger of being so far upside down that they would lose the property to, to uh, qualify and that even a forbearance plan or a loan mod wouldn't help them, that only principal reduction no would. Now the FHFA, that's Edward DeMarco's group, uh, continues to analyze allowing the GSEs to participate in expanded HAMP programs for principal reductions in the savings. Early analysis show that, that any savings could be easily offset by borrowers who strategically default to take advantage when they could otherwise make the payment. Kind of makes sense. If that guy's going to get his mortgage reduced by 50%, why wouldn't I? So that's what their worry is. Now, there are some services out there like Aquin. They already have begun a shared appreciation program, but others, Wells, Chase, B of A, it's going to take them a while to catch up should this bill get passed. Realistically, Passing the bill is a long shot in this gridlock Congress. Republicans in control of the House long support the FHFA Acting Director DeMarco in his resistance to parental reductions, just for the moral hazard that we just talked about. Peters and Campbell has introduced a bill reforming Freddie and Fannie in its entirety last year, and it never even got taken up. We're going to take a wait-and-see position and update you as soon as we learn more. Guys, I really just don't see it, but time will tell. Speaking of upside down houses, to get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log in to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info to get a free estimate of what your home is worth and when it will be back uh, to what you owe. Or give me a call for a free consultation. Or just give me a call and we can chat about short sales, yours in particular or short sale in general. Give me a call today. You'll sleep better tonight. You'll be glad you did. I'll look forward to hearing from you.